Hey guys, my name is Michael Valdez. I am a fourth semester musical theater student here at the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York City. And this is my room tour here at the Stratford Arms, one of Amda's dorms. I hope you like it. Just as a heads up and to give a little bit more info about this, this is a double room tour without the roommate. So this is technically a double room tour, but theoretically a single room tour, but it's a double. It's literally the size of a double, so spacing, everything, exactly the same. I'm gonna start off with the store mat. I got this from Target and it has been very useful. It was one of the best decisions I've made in this room so that it keeps all the dirt from coming into the room and on the floor because New York City is really dirty. And yeah, so you can buy this mat on Target. I'll uh, put the link down below if you're interested. And I kind of put like a little tiny cute thing here from Billy Joel when I saw him back in 2015. I also recommend getting these mats. These are just regular bath mats that you can get on Amazon. I will put the link down below. But yeah, I love these. They're great if you're like coming out of the shower and you wanna put your feet on something or if you're just like standing and brushing your teeth or washing your hands and you just want something plush. I love this. They're machine washable. Great. Affordable. Love them. Power strips. Here. So power strips are the best things you can get because you can put like five different things and you can turn it off when you don't need it and save power and it's great. Uh, just make sure you don't electrocute yourself if you have so many things plugged in. I recommend turning it off, plugging whatever you need in, and then turning it back on. And here we have some twinkly lights that I bought from Amazon. I do not recommend these. These eat up the battery so fast. It's the one on the bottom. It's not the one on the top with the stars, but yeah, I do not recommend these. They were utter waste of money and they just eat up the batteries and I've gone through like two packs of batteries. So yeah do not recommend them. But the other ones that are plug-in, the stars, I 100% recommend these. I will put the link down below. Uh, these are from Amazon. They're really, really cute at night, and I just love these. They're really calming. They have different settings on them with how the lights turn on and everything. So yeah, I love these. And Next, we're going to go to the closet. I bought this poster from Amazon. It's Call Me By Your Name, one of my favorite movies. And yeah, it just makes like a cute little decoration. And I actually do not like the Instax Fujifilm. And I went ahead and went on eBay back in like, oh my gosh, I can't remember what year, but I went, but I uh, went on eBay and bought a vintage Polaroid camera. A, 600 and you can buy the films on polaroidoriginals.com and they're a little pricey but i like these more because they're bigger and they're cuter i will put the link down below for any film that you want to buy from there and yeah you can just look online for a polaroid camera on ebay make sure it's tested you don't want to buy an untested one because if you buy an untested one you risk having a broken camera so make sure it's tested even if it's a little bit more extra money so now we're gonna go into the closet. Um, yeah, so I bought a laundry bag instead of a laundry hamper because it takes up less room and you can hang it up in your closet and it's more efficient with space. And for me, I 
brought a lot of clothes because I love clothes. And in order for me, in order for me to bring a lot of clothes, I had to buy these things, which are space saving hangers that you can buy on Amazon as well. And I'm going to put the link down below. These are so great. You can fit like five, even you could even double stack it. Like I double stack some of them. You could even fit like like more than five on these hangers and they're great. I also recommend getting a very heavy winter coat because it gets really, really cold in New York. It sometimes even goes down below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, definitely get a winter coat. Um, I got a bathrobe as well because sometimes I feel lazy and I just want to throw on a robe and not have like a t-shirt on or anything or pants or something. So yeah, I got a robe that you can get on Amazon as well. I can put the link down below as well. With winter here, I would bring a lot of sweaters. Definitely, like you see up here, like hats, scarves. You don't need a lot, just like maybe one good hat and one nice scarf. Oh yeah, steamer. Steamer. Um, yeah, buy a steamer. It really saves you sometimes because you don't want to look wrinkly and gross so yeah buy a steamer you can buy that on amazon i'll put the link the bottom of the closet you can put stuff down here too that's my dance bag it has all my dance clothes in it you might as well just go to capizio and get it student discount rate and that's just a bag of bags like just reusable bags boots bring winter boots because it snows here sometimes well it snows and sometimes it's really bad and you need a good pair of boots. So bring a pair of boots. All right, that's finishing up the closet. Next we have, oh, hello. Uh, we have the sink and medicine cabinet. There are no sinks in the men's bathroom. I know there's sinks in the, like, the private bathrooms. I don't think they're, like, gender-specific bathrooms. But in the bathroom that's labeled the men's bathroom, there is no sink. So you have to wash your hands here. Just soap, toothpaste, retainer. That's for me, yeah. And then down here is where I keep all my cleaning supplies. I have a Swiffer, wet and dry. I usually clean my floor a lot because I don't like bugs and I don't like dirt. So I clean my floor every two weeks if I'm good with it. I'm usually not good with it. I recommend Tide Pods. Tide Pods are so good. They are so easy with um, laundry. You just pop them in. Windex to clean this, to clean the mirror. Not, yeah, I know what a mirror is. Um, dish soap for washing dishes if you're if you're gonna be bringing dishes and Lysol wipes and trash bags for your trash because you should have a trash in here because if you don't, then everything's gonna start piling up on you. And Lysol spray and um, scrubbing bubbles. Yeah, stain remover as well. The OxyClean, OxyClean stain remover. That stuff comes in handy if you ever have like a big stain on your shirt or on any article of clothing or even on like like if you have like a big stain on your like sheets or something, you could put it on there and it's so great. Um, dryer sheets also, dry I love dryer sheets. They keep my clothes smelling nice and clean if you like fragrance. All right, so this is the medicine cabinet. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah, I just, I keep first aid stuff up here like Band-Aids and Neosporin. And here I keep any medications that I need. Uh, Dayquil you can buy if you're under 21. Nyquil you cannot buy. You need to be 21 and over to buy it because it has alcohol in it. But Dayquil is alcohol free as you can see. So you can buy that. This is so good if you have a really, if you have a really bad sore throat, recommend this. Aleve, great if you have a headache, if you have any type of pain. I just started using these Blistex Lip Medics, um, lip balms, and they are so good. I love these. And I have been really bad with taking my vitamins, but these vitamins are pretty good. Um, I recommend them. Toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, I mean, basic stuff, like stuff that you would use at home. And, oh, this mirror, this is a very special mirror. This you have to buy for VPS, Voice Production and Speech, which is a speech class that we have here at AMDA. It is a great class. You're gonna need this mirror or any type of mirror, just a hand mirror for first, 
second and third semester. So I highly recommend buying a mirror. Next, I am going to show you my desk. So this is a pretty standard desk. Everyone has it in their rooms at AMDA and I have a lot of books. I love books. Um, I have a lot of Shakespeare because you're gonna do a lot of that in VPS and you're gonna do a lot of that third semester when you work on a Shakespeare scene. And yeah, I got this as a gift and I love Neil Simon, so I have a collection of his plays. Those are really helpful sometimes if I ever need to just like find something quickly or if I just wanna read one of his plays. Chekhov, love Chekhov. Did that third semester for my VPS final demonstration and yeah, Speak With Distinction. That's gonna be a very important book for you guys for VPS pretty much all of your time at AMDA. So yeah, definitely do not trash this book. I recommend either getting an iPad or a MacBook, which is under here. They have student rates, so it shouldn't be as expensive as a re like regular price. They usually give you like a few hundred dollars off. So definitely look into getting an iPad or a, or a MacBook or just any type of computer. It doesn't even have to be Apple. Honestly, I'm, Apple's really pricey and there's so many great laptops like the Surface laptops. Those are great for college. So get an electronic thing because you're gonna need it. I'm telling you, you're gonna need it. There's a drawer here. I just keep like miscellaneous things in there. And here are three other drawers. In this drawer, I keep any like everyday bathroom stuff like my, um, my hairbrush, my deodorant, um, eye drops, uh, floss, face wipes. And then this one I keep like office supplies like tape, scissors, pencils, paper, highlighters. And then in this one there were books in here but I actually took them back home because I'm slowly moving my stuff out of this room. But I just keep like my um, my computer charger in here and a stapler and yeah, nothing specific. I just wanted to briefly talk about this cork board that I bought from Target. I love it. I actually put some cute stuff on here. This is something that I learned from one of my classes. This is a walking tour that we went on when I was a first semester before I started my classes here. We did a tour of all the Broadway theaters and everything, and we learned a lot, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, this is my playbill from my musical showcase that I did this semester called The Butterfly Effect. So much fun, I miss it so much. This is a little thing that one of my cast members gave me. She gave me a rose, her name's Zoe, and it was really cute and I just put it up here. And this was actually one of the props that I used in the showcase. I put it, this picture was in my picture frame on my desk. So I kept that little tiny cute little moment. And this is a pride flag that I got from NY Pride back in 2019. And this you can actually buy on Amazon. I will put the link down below. If you do end up getting a Polaroid 600 camera and you wanna hang them up and like with cute little decorations, this is really cute. So I will put the link down below for that. In addition to my Polaroid camera, I have a disposable camera. And I love this because it just, it looks really cute. And these are some of the disposables that I took. These are my dogs back at home. This is my parents. This is me and my sister. This is me and my friends, Michaela and Madeline. This is my mama. This is me and my friend Karina. And this is my cousin. And yeah, I love these. These are just really cute. They give a good vibe. Um, you can have them developed at CVS. They take about a month to get developed, so definitely plan accordingly, but they're really cute. And they are actually not as expensive as the Polaroids that I just showed you. So these are a little bit more cost effective and they look really vintage and they look really cute. So yeah. Next, I'm going to show you my bed. Pretty standard bed, nothing special. I got a mattress topper. Best decision I ever made in addition to this. Mattress topper is so good. It's so soft. You can buy it on Amazon. I can put the specific one that I bought, which I love, but you can buy any mattress topper on Amazon. You have to get it for a twin bed though, because these are twin beds. They're not twin XL or anything. They're just twin beds. Get a mattress topper. Those are really, really helpful with the bed to make it a little bit more comfortable. These sheets I bought on Amazon, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I actually 
wanted to change them but it didn't really make sense for me so i can put the link down below if you like sheets like this but i recommend getting jersey sheets because i know my roommate first and second semester had jersey sheets and those were so comfy and i am definitely going to get them in the future but i am not the biggest fan of these sheets but they're nice sheets they're really good sheets and i'm going to put the link so this comforter i bought from amazon and i loved it at first it was a great comforter and I don't know what happened to it, but one day um, when I put it in the washing machines downstairs, it decided to tear the comforter apart. This is actually the second comforter that I had to go through because my other one, stuffing was coming out of it and it just, I don't know what happened with it, but I think the washing machine pretty much destroyed it because before then it was perfectly fine. Like I would wash it and nothing would happen to it, but now it just decided to rip on me. This comforter got really, really good reviews on Amazon. It was like 19,000 reviews and all majority of them being positive. But I have just had a mixed experience with this comforter and I don't know if I would recommend it. I mean, you may have a different experience than I did. I mean, this literally happened in my third or fourth semester here and I had the comforter for like a total of over two semesters which is like eight months and it was perfectly fine so I mean it's up to you I had a good experience with it at first but then as I used it more I don't know what the hell happened to it so yeah here are just some like stuffed animals and um pillows that I got to like decorate my bed I got this burn book pillow from Mean Girls on Broadway I love this pillow so much. It's so cute. It's embroidered. I got this from Amazon, this Keith Haring um, art pillow. I didn't get the pillow from Amazon. I got the pillow cake. Well, no, I got the pillow from Amazon as well. It's one of those, like a pillow insert. And then I bought the, um, the pillow case on Amazon as well. I also bought this on Amazon as well, this pillow case and a uh, pillow insert. It's really cute. And this little guy, this little teddy bear, I got from FAO Schwartz. She was very pricey, but... I was really sad one day, so I bought a bear. It was it was a moment, but I love this bear. It's so cute. And my dad actually got this for me. It's from Costco. And it is a Squishmallows plush toy. And it's really cute. I love this one. It's, he He knows me so well. If you're wondering what I do with the top bunk, since it is technically a double room, I just keep things up here i mean i don't really do anything with it there's nothing really to do with it up here so i just keep like extra stuff up here i'm gonna show you this rug that i got from target as well in addition to that mat over there i love this rug so much it's so cute it's real. it really just completes the aesthetic of the room i forgot how much this is but i will put the link down below for it if i if it's still available i love this really cute really decorative i forgot to show you under the bed so under the bed we have two drawer thingies i keep in this one i keep my underwear and my socks and everything in this one i keep like athletic bottoms like sweatpants and stuff and pajama bottoms and tops and everything in the center i actually it's like a little like alleyway i keep my carry-on suitcase there and i keep any like extra bath stuff that I can't fit in those things over there so I keep it here. In this one I keep my t-shirts and any athletic tops that I have and any tank tops and in this one I keep all my pants during the winter. During the summer I kept my shorts in here and I put my pants in the closet. You can really utilize these any way you want but that's how I utilize them and that's what's been the most helpful and useful to me. Next, I am going to show you these cabinets. In here, I keep like my pots and pans and any utensils, napkins. Uh, it's kind of a mess now. Any dishes. I use dishes because I like not having too much waste and I want to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. So yeah, this is more like kitchen-esque stuff. In this one, I keep my bath stuff. So like any like masks, lip stuff, face stuff, lotion, contacts. Now I'm going to take a minute to talk about this guy. This is the My Pyramus steamer. Magical, iconic, a must have. I love this thing to death. It is completely portable. You can take it anywhere you want. There is no cord. 
is cordless. It is just magical and I love this thing. I bought it a little over a year ago and the amount of times I've used this and it's helped me with my voice. Can't even tell you how many times. I just love this thing and it comes with like little like water things that you put in here to fill it up. You have to use the water that they sell. I know it's stupid but yeah, you can't use any like tap water or anything. She's a little pricey though. She is about $150, $150 in US cash, but I'm telling you, it's a really good investment. I love this thing. I think it has like a year warranty or you can bump it up to like a two or three year warranty if you're looking for like anything to help your voice or like if you're sick and you need some like a good steamer, I recommend this. Definitely worth the money. Love it. Absolutely. Okay, PSA is done. And in this drawer is just a bunch of, oh, there are my headshots. I got these printed out downtown. I can put the link down where I got these printed out. It, I got them at a place where a lot of AMDA people go. And the store is just a lot of miscellaneous things uh, like paperwork and all of that and towels for like, I wash, wash my towels every week and change them because they get smelly. This is just miscellaneous stuff. I mean, nothing really specific. So next I'm gonna show you this hanging shoe organizer that I got from Amazon and I will put the link down below. This is so helpful. Keeps all my shoes organized and takes up less space. I can just put my shoes here and not have to worry about them. Next, I'm going to show you the shared bathroom. In some of the rooms at the Stratford Arms, there is a shared bathroom that is connecting to the room next to me. No one currently lives in that room and no one has lived in that room since I've moved into this room. So I've been lucky enough to have my own bathroom for two semesters. This is the shower. I recommend getting shower shoes like flip-flops, really helpful. I don't really like putting my bare feet on these shower floors. So those are cute. They're also really helpful if you're using the public bathroom because everyone uses that bathroom and you do not want to get toe fungus. So yeah, get shower shoes. But yeah, the showers are really, really tiny and really, really, really temperamental. But I love having my own shower and I got this shower curtain from Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Really, really good. You can put it in the wash and reuse it. You don't have to throw it out after like a month or two. So this is great on toilet, trash can in the bathroom as well, in addition to having one right here for my the main room. I have one here for my bathroom. Plunger was already in here when I came here, so if you would like to have a plunger in your room, definitely put in a work order if you can and see if they'll let you do it. I use this to clean the shower because it really gets the, like, as it says, the soap scum and gets the dirt off of the shower. Toilet paper. You're gonna have to buy your own toilet paper if you have your own bathroom. I am a sensitive boy and I like baby wipes. So yeah, you can buy baby wipes if you want, I don't know. Downside to having your own bathroom, you have to pay extra for it. You have to pay, I believe $150 US per semester to have your own bathroom. At the end of the day, it's whatever you want. If you want your own bathroom, if you feel more comfortable having your own bathroom and cleaning your own bathroom, then it's $150, but if that's not affordable, then you have your own bathrooms outside. So it's really, it's really up to you. Talk about this little thing. So this is a shower caddy. So this was really handy. It's more organized and yeah, you can buy it on Amazon. I will put the link down below. The fridge. So it's a mini fridge. So you can't really fit too much in here, especially if you have a roommate. I kind of stuffed it up because I'm, lucky enough that I only live like an hour and a half away from the city so my parents are able to bring me food and stock me up a little bit and some others and I actually bought some stuff for myself from Trader Joe's which is two blocks up yeah two blocks up really affordable love it Trader Joe's has so many options and it's a really good place to shop for groceries and stuff this is the freezer so yeah don't plan on buying any frozen stuff because there's really not too much room in here to put anything frozen. Brita filter. Highly, highly recommend you get a Brita filter because you do not want to keep making trips downstairs to the water fountain to drink water. And if you're weird about tap water, I recommend getting a Brita filter. You can get it anywhere. You can get it on Amazon, Target. I think you can even get it at the grocery store. Yeah, it's, it's great. 
I love it. I have always have water. So useful. Microwave. Highly, highly recommend getting a microwave. So you don't have to make trips down to the kitchen and you can always warm up your food in your room. Keurig. Love, love, love. This is like a single cup Keurig. So you have to pour the water in and then it will do it. You have to pull, pour the water in every time. You can't just like fill it up and leave it and it will always have water. You have to do it every time. But I love this. This was not too expensive definitely recommend it the beauty about the stratford arms is that you are allowed to have a closed coil toaster in your room they actually allow this because it is not as flammable so yeah you can put bread bagels anything in here and it's great for making food on the bottom is these little like pantry things that i got i don't know where my mom got it from but you can buy them anywhere you can buy them on amazon there's really no specific place that you have to buy them but yeah i just keep like snacks and pantry stuff and my teas are down there all my teas and my honey and all of that definitely recommend getting this very very useful and if you guys are interested in getting amda merch like this i will put the link down below so that you can check it out i made it on bonfire and i wanted to make something that was affordable really cute really modern looking if you're interested links down below and to finish off the tour a view of the city from the 10th floor one thing that i love about this room is that you get a really pretty view and you get direct sunlight definitely recommend living on the 10th floor i loved it all right guys so that is my room tour i am actually graduating in less than two weeks so i just want to thank amda amda is such a great school great program De loved it so much the teachers are amazing and yeah, I just want to thank AMDA for everything that they've done for me, making me into the performer I am and the performer and and like inspiring me to be the performer that I want to be. And I'm going into my drama showcase now and then I graduate and then I'm actually heading to LA in June for my BFA. So there will hopefully be a room tour in LA. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. I'm actually kind of nervous, kind of excited. It's been great. New York City. I've been in New York my whole life, but living in the city was definitely one of the best experiences and one of the most challenging. It's really hard living in the city, it, especially it's, it's just such a big place, but then it feels so small at the same time. Yeah, I wouldn't have changed it. I loved living in the city. Every time I keep saying, oh, I don't want to be here anymore. It was just a great experience and I met some really amazing people. For people who are thinking about coming to AMDA or people who are already in the process of coming to AMDA, just be yourself. Be who you want to be. Love yourself. Don't depend on other people. Depend on yourself and really love the person that you are and love your own skin and everything. That's my lesson that I can teach people who are coming here or who are thinking about coming here. It's an amazing program, would not change ever any decision I ever made about coming here. 100% loved coming here. Great experience. Yeah, so this is my room tour. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye!